Last year about this time, I remember covering the Vampire Diaries mm -hmm. and not even really knowing if Klaus would be back or not. Flash forward a year, Klaus has got his own show, you. I, know, yeah. I mean, what does that feel like? I mean, just amazing, really. I, I, it's It's been a sort of possibility. It's been on the horizons for a long time, but uh, just for it to be a reality now, you know, to do the panel in the ballroom right. and see all the people who came to see us for our our show, um, you know, it's it's nice to know that uh, there's still an audience, that we're going to take an audience with us, I hope. And so, yeah, it's still a little daunting and a little kind of overwhelming. And I, I can't quite believe this is my job now. I really lucked out, you know. I really was given a character that the fans responded to, and I just kind of ran with that, you know. Right, and I think through the Vampire Diaries, and now hopefully on the originals, we're seeing all these levels, all these different, sorry, I guess I just said layers of mm, Klaus. Mm. Um, just when you think he's no good, then he tells Caroline, I'm going to be your last love. Girls around the world are swooning. Mm. So what's up with Klaus? You know, he's... Uh, that was really good, by the way. Oh, thank you. Well, that's that's uh, the, the writing I get again. I, they give me some killer lines, they I tell do. you what. And I knew when I read that line, I was like, like, this uh -huh. is going to be one that yeah. I, I, will be quoted to me, you know. Um, I mean, it's just a fantastic opportunity, the, the character, because they really, uh, I, I get to sort of win the audience's hearts. And then, you know, right when I'm... I'm uh, Right when I'm in their good books, you know, I, I, I get to, yeah, just mess it all up again and do something really utterly terrible and almost unforgivable, you know. Everybody keeps forgetting about it along the way, though, like, wait a minute, you know, I, I killed Aunt Jenna, I, I killed, I drowned Tyler's mom in the fountain after slaughtering 12 hybrids, but everyone's just like, yeah, but when you said to Caroline, I fancy you, that Always was really forgiven. nice. Always forgiven, you know? always forgiven, exactly. So, yeah. Well, now we're going to meet Klaus, the daddy, I know, the baby. I know. What is that going to be like? I, you know, I'd love to know. If you know, then please tell me. I'm, I'm really, really excited. I feel like there's going to have to be some sort of resolve between Haley and Klaus. Mm -hmm. Probably not in terms of a relationship, but in terms of a sort of uneasy partnership. You know, mm -hmm. in order right. to move forward, I think Klaus it still isn't completely on board with the child living. He's not completely sure he mm -hmm. wants the child to live. Um, but I think it's going to be a really great journey. I mean, it's a, it's a wonderful opportunity. It, you know, just when we thought we'd seen all sides of him and all of his kind of vulnerability, and then, then this comes up, which is going to be a whole new storyline. I mean, I can't really imagine this character holding a little tiny baby in his arms at the moment, but it, it, maybe we'll see that, you know? Hearts will melt, I promise, I promise. Congratulations. Thank you so Thank much. You so much. Thank you. Get out of my interview. Come on. Oh my